It was in the film Terminator 3 that we learned the Terminator is powered by two hydrogen fuel cells. I am a machine. A clean and limitless source of power. But apart from sci-fi movies, hydrogen technology is being applied all around us today. Hyundai recently launched sales of its hydrogen fuel cell powered cars in the UK, the only manufacturer to do so. They're hoping that early adopters will be attracted by the zero emission technology. The beauty about the hydrogen fuel cell is that you as an individual don't have to change your habits because it only takes you four minutes to fill this up. You don't have overnight charging, so your driving habits and your lifestyle habits have not changed and you're more environmentally friendly. So how exactly do hydrogen cars work? Very simply, it's an electric vehicle. It uses hydrogen gas, uh, which is drawn up from the, the twin tanks on the back of the car. Um, that's drawn into the fuel cell stack itself, where it's mixed with oxygen from the surrounding air. An electrochemical reaction takes place between the two, which basically creates a flow of electrons. That flow of electrons powers the motor. I'm at one of two hydrogen recharging stations in London. Now to give you just some perspective on how small that is, there are currently over 1,200 electric car recharging stations in the capital. And that perhaps is one of the biggest hurdles for hydrogen technology that just simply isn't the infrastructure. It's a concern that the company acknowledges. It's, it's pure economics, this. The more and more people who buy a hydrogen vehicle, the more and more infrastructure will then be dotted around the country. But it's unclear if people will buy into it. Fuel cell technology has been described as unrealistic and the worst possible vehicle fuel. Elon Musk from Tesla has called the technology bull and has laughed off its importance. I don't want to turn this into a debate on hydrogen fuel cells because I just think that they're extremely silly. It's something Hyundai's UK CEO laughs off. What's the alternatives? So it's fine sort of putting those propositions forward, but the alternative is using carbon. Um, and whether that be through a hybrid vehicle or whether it be through electric, actually you're still going to use carbon to get to, those, to the, those propositions. Hydrogen is all around us. Hydrogen is much more accessible. So we can get that. There's a, a, an unlimited amount of hydrogen that's around. So as industry leaders debate electric versus hydrogen, it's sure that one of them will say, I'll be back. Phil Hahn, CNBC, London. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.